What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, we are on part two of our series of how does Brian take care of his dive gear. And today we're going to be looking at the exposure suit. So we're going to be looking at wetsuits, dry suits, hoods, gloves, boots, things like that. And I'm going to show you just how simple it is to take good care of the investment that you made. you got to remember your exposure suit is your first line of defense to the environment. So it's whatever you're wearing is going to protect you from the environment. So you want to make the best use out of it and you want to prolong the life of it by taking good care of it. Now a couple of things that you're going to need of course is some type of detergent. I'm still using the Pal Palau product. I've been using this since about 2012. You can get it in the bottle form or you can get these little travel bags. They work really well. And it's about two ounces per five gallons. So this little bag right here is gonna work great. Of course, I'm using my Pelican box as my little washing. And you can see there are some suds in here, but it's not a really heavy detergent, but what it does is it breaks down bacterial and it's an all natural product as well. Now we're gonna start with the boots. You can do the same thing with your hood and your gloves and things like that, but all I'm gonna do is simply just submerge them down in there. If I need to, I can take my weight, stick it down in the boot to help keep it submerged. It's really basically that simple, guys. You just wanna leave it submerged for about 10 to 15 minutes so that the product has time to work to get in there and break down that bacteria all that stinky stuff your feet and your body and if you pee in your suit you want to make sure it's got time to break that material down or break down all that bacteria and then you're simply going to hang it up and let it dry we're going to go ahead and move over to the wetsuit now and i'm going to do basically the exact same thing i'm just going to stick it in there if i need to i can add weights to it to help submerge it down in there now if you don't have a pelican box like mine it doesn't it's not really a big deal all you got to use is a five gallon bucket you're just going to set it in there let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes then you're going to pull it out hang it up and let it dry two things about letting it dry one always make sure you use a proper wetsuit hanger and when you do hang it up to dry you don't want to hang it up in direct sunlight at least not for a lengthy period of time but we're going to go down here and hang it up and i'm going to show you how i personally do my dry suits as well Just like that and like I said you don't want to leave it in direct sunlight for a lengthy period of time but I'm gonna let it stay here for about 15 20 minutes once most of the moisture is evaporated out then I'll take it inside in a cool dry place now as far as dry suits are concerned you guys know I got several different dry suits but we've been doing a ton of salvage work here lately and I've been wearing my OS systems dry suit this is the front horizontal entry suit and I'm going to show you really quickly how I clean this suit. So, of course, I'm going to start with my 50-50 blend. This is nothing more than just dome dish detergent with some water. Shake it up really good. Now, typically, I will spray the suit, get it nice and wet before I do this. But I'm just going to spray it on. You can start to see the suds start to form. And then you can simply scrub it off. You can use whatever type of brush system you want. This just happens to be one I've got here. But I'm just going to go all the way through it, knee pads, boots, whole nine yards. I'll even come down to the zipper. I want to make sure that all the Velcro is cleaned out. I'm going to take a toothbrush along the zipper itself, make sure it's cleaned out. And then once everything's good, top to bottom, I'm going to spray it off with fresh, clean water. I'm going to hang it up to dry just for a few minutes to get most of the moisture off. With this bi-laminate, it doesn't take it very long to dry at all. And then, of course, I'm going to treat my seals. I'm going to simply clean them off, use a little bit of talc powder on them, and then hang my suit up and store it as well. But that's it for my exposure suits. It's a very simple process. Obviously you can use fresh clean water after every dive and it goes a long way. But when you start to use some type of detergent, you want a mild detergent that does get in there and eat up that bacteria. That's another reason we like to Pal Palau. Guys, if you wanna check out the Pal Palau products, I'll put you a link down below. You can simply purchase it today and start washing your gear with ease. But guys, if you wanna know more about how to clean your gear and take good care of it, check out the SSI Equipment Techniques Program, and it's gonna give you a lot of information on how you can prolong the life of your gear. But don't worry guys, this is not the last video in this series. We got several other videos coming out. We're gonna be looking at BCDs, regs, tanks, and I'm gonna show you how I take good care of that. I'm even gonna show you how I take good care of my accessories as well. But if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.